This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, May 28, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. NASA is tracking a huge growing anomaly in Earth's magnetic field. NASA is actively monitoring a strange anomaly in Earth's magnetic field that we spoke about before, a giant region of lower magnetic intensity in the skies above the planet, stretching out between South America and Southwest Africa. This vast developing phenomenon, called the South Atlantic Anomaly, has intrigued and concerned scientists for years, and perhaps no more than NASA's researchers. The space agency's satellites slash balloons and spacecraft are particularly vulnerable to the weakened magnetic field strength within the anomaly and the resulting exposure to charged particles from our sun. The South Atlantic Anomaly, also known as the SAA, likened by NASA to a dent in Earth's magnetic field or a kind of pothole in space, generally does not affect life on Earth, but the same can't be said for orbital spacecraft, including the International Space Station, which passed directly through the anomaly as they loop around the planet at low Earth orbit altitudes. During these encounters, the reduced magnetic field strength inside the anomaly means technological systems on board satellites can short circuit and malfunction if they become struck by high energy protons emanating from the sun. But you're telling me that humans aren't affected? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. We have a hole in our atmosphere, just like I've told y'all, and it's probably due to the start of our pole flip. I believe this is on a 3,600-year cycle, and if you times that by seven, God's number, well, that's 25,200 years, which is the long count. And all the governments know about this. They've used places like the Grand Canyon to look back millions of years into the sediment to see how often the volcanoes went off, how many ash layers there are, what increments these volcanic issues developed in, and also even the stalactites within caves actually change direction depending on where the magnetic poles are. God bless you and yours. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World. God bless you all.